Guys, when I say I can't keep up, when I say I can't keep up with the pace of these two rappers putting out songs for me to be able to react to them, I was recording the Tory Lanez reaction video and Joyner put out his album while I was recording that. I was not expecting a reaction until tomorrow at the earliest. He reacted same day. I think it's like six hours between the two songs. Tory's diss that I just reacted to that should be up already. The one I'm doing right now. It's 12.30 at night, but it is what it is. You know, these, these videos ain't gonna make themselves. The bread don't, the bread's not gonna go out there and get itself, so here we are. I haven't heard the song at all, like not even a single bar. So this one, we are actually getting a true reaction. I will say that Tory went in last song. Like, Lucas needs to come hard AF right now to even get back into the picture. He took the lead, but then Tory came with that fire-ass track, lyricism like I haven't heard before from him or like I haven't heard in a minute at least. So we gotta have some bars coming up or else this thing is gonna pull away from, from Joyner quickly. We're back on the big camera by the way. The audio should be much better. Apologize about that, but I had to get that song out because I didn't know when the track was coming and it came in like four hours. So let's just jump right into this because it's 12.30 at night and I gotta get some fucking sleep. Today is literally Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. If you don't, Happy regular Thursday, I guess. I don't fucking know. Let's do this. Oh, he went on this beat? Oh, uh, shit. A nigga saying what a great battle, but you about to see a fucking snake rattle. Boy. I literally said that in the last video, that Tory was saying that, that Joyner didn't pay any caution to him, that he wasn't hearing the snake rattle. Now he's actually using the line. Let me jump in on this fucking diss, you know what I'm saying? Let's get this little triangle threesome going, no homo. Just a pony with a pink saddle. I'm truly sorry that you stuck inside a drink shadow. When are you going What have I been saying the whole time? I'm truly sorry that you've been stuck inside a Drake's shadow. And that's the truth. That's one of the things about Lane's diss is that he was spilling, spitting a lot of truth. That's the truth, is that Tory isn't as big as he should be because Drake is the superstar he is. Come. Uh, when are you gonna level up? When are you gonna grow another foot? Uh, when are you gonna show us that you're number one? Uh, and everything that you accomplished in some years about to take me just a couple months. Don't you think uh, I'm Everything that you've accomplished in a couple years is about to take me a couple months. That's one of the things is that Joyner hasn't been, he found a spark and he's running with it. He's at, he's up there with some of the best, but it's, it's years. Joyner's already in that mix and it's only been a couple months. I thought you were tough and eager. Damn. How you almost signed a Justin Bieber? You look like a fucking beaver. <laughs> Ten years. How you almost signed a Justin Bieber? Like you're you were running out of options, like he said on his last one. You look like a fucking beaver. Now that he's bald, I can see it. Another thing I can't unsee. First he looked like Ren and Stimpy. Now he looks like a beaver. And yes to both of those. Ten years in the game, but your ass still sitting on the fucking bleachers, boy. You just another diva. Another diva. Ten years in the game, and you still just sitting on the fucking bleachers. You just another diva. And I can see that because I feel like Tory's always complaining. Like that's his thing is he complains about the fact that he's not as big as he could be or should be instead of just shutting up and going to right and putting out the hits. Heard your grandmama kick you out the house screaming, Tory, we don't fucking need you. Why your daddy up and leave you? I guess this is how they fucking treat you. And you my puppet, you my cousin Skeeter. Why your daddy up and leave you? He's saying at least I had a dad that could pass on his legacy. Why your daddy up and leave you and your grandma kicked you out the house saying they don't need you? The gloves are slowly starting to come off. He said you're my cousin Skeeter like Doug? A reference to a 90s show? Since he's a 90s baby? What you want it? They been waiting for it. I'm Jordan Lucas. What the fuck you niggas take me for? I pull up in the demon but I kill Satan for it. If you want attention, Tori, you gonna have to pay me for it. I pull up in the demon but I had to kill Satan for it. He didn't give Satan his soul, and now he is in a demon. And the demon obviously being the Phantom. I don't know if that's obvious, that was obvious to me, but either way, you're gonna have to pay me for this attention you're getting. Okay, okay. The bullets flying and you recline just like a lazy boy. Tori said something about in his last track, about how the bullets are gonna fly into Joyner's car and he's gonna be laying back like a recline. Taking his own line again. They're going back and forth with these song lines. Cry, you a child, you my baby boy. And all you do is cry, you a child, you my baby boy. That's what I'm saying. All he does is complain. But now he's saying you my baby boy, not even my little bro. Call yourself Tory after the notorious big. Biggie 
turning in his grave when he hear your shit. Don't have Biggie turning in his grave when he hearing your shit. Never come compare your shit. Little girls and kids only ones to feel your shit. I skip the plan. Little girls and kids, the only ones that feel your shit. It's like he's in my mind and heard what I was saying on the Tory Lane reaction video. Joyner didn't get to a million because, and Tory Lanez is at, is at a million plus on IG because he's rapping to these bitches and little kids feel the shit. Where Joyner would rather be happy with his fan base and be under a milli. And that's one thing that people used to say about Drake, that once he ages and once his, you know, appeal, sex appeal or whatever falls off, you know, what else is he going to have? Because he used to only rap, his his main thing was rapping to chicks. But obviously Drake became his own and Tory's still Tory. I skipped the plaques on my way to a Grammy. Are your records soft and sweet? Niggas think that you can be. Your niggas really convince you that you think you can scam me. And you got identity issues, niggas think you a tranny. Really? Yo. He just called son a transvestite, and he said he'll skip the plaques on the way to his Grammy, which Tory's never seen. You rapping is soft and sweet that people think that you candy. Sweet like candy. Your homies really convince you in, that you think you can scare me. Like they got in your head thinking that you could scare me, thinking that your bars are going to make me run off. Tory, tell us why you always got a line your rhymes. Mm. I know keeping up with lines can get tired sometimes. Mm. You're not a G, and deep down you want to hide sometimes. Staring at the sunshine and start crying sometimes. You're he was calling Lucas out for saying that he's acting like he's like he's ran the streets when he hasn't, and he's just letting people think that. He's saying that Tory is actively lying in his rhymes, saying that he's a G and it must be tiring sometimes keeping up with those lies. This is fire so far. This is what I wanted to hear on a comeback. Staring at the sunshine and start crying sometimes. Your real name is Daystar. You've been dying to shine. And when you sing, it kind of sound like you're dying sometimes. You may your real name is Daystar. You've been dying to shine. Do I need to break that down for y'all even further? But literally a day star is the sun. The sun is a star that produces daylight and the sun is steadily dying. The sun should die in a couple billion years, I think. And then, and then no light for our solar system. He's been dying to shine. Just like a star is literally dying as it shines. That is a bar. Nobody take you serious, put all the violence aside Your plagiarism that you hate to mention yeah. I talk about the hate you give in to the great you dissin And that writer who wrote your shit still ain't got paid on that don't die record You should probably go pay the nigga yeah, He just said he used a ghostwriter on his biggest track and hasn't paid him and he said, let's talk about the plagiarism that you hate to mention. Like no one brings up the fact that you plagiarize some shit and the shit that you get in because of the greats that you dissin. Basically saying no one likes you, Tori. Get the fuck out of here. Go worry and go pay your ghostwriter that you haven't paid for your biggest hit. How the fuck you talk about Kendrick when he a legend? Uh, they go bite the nigga style and your record right at the end it. Uh, on four eight. How you talk about Kendrick when he a legend and then go buy his style at the ending of your record? Ended. On 4 a.m. flex, two minutes and 50 seconds sound exactly like the audit peer pressure. Go take a listen. You he pointed out the actual timestamp from when he stole from Kendrick Style. We gotta go and check this. We gotta check this just to see what he's talking about. All right, so let's look up Tory motherfucking lanes. 4 a.m. flex, two minutes and 50 seconds. This is 4 a.m. flex by Tory Lanes. I think it's his latest song. So we're gonna scroll to two minutes 45 and let it play. It's the last 50 seconds of the song. So let's let's hear this. All right, here we go. Two minutes 50 seconds, right now. Boom. I know what he's talking about. All right, all right, all right. I know what he's talking about. I know what he's talking. As soon as it, as soon as he started spitting in that like in that train in that changed voice. Now let's go to the art of peer pressure. Not only is he talking about the style in which he's in which he's spitting, where he changed up his voice, because you know Kendrick does that, where he raps in a voice that's like this on the first part of the art of peer pressure and shit like that. The actual lyrical content is very similar. Rolling around with the homies and shit goes down. Here, look, here's the art of peer pressure. Yo, that is a fucking diss right there. Saying that not only did he plagiarize originally, but he got into some shit with the greats like Kendrick Lamar for the plagiarism and stole Kendrick's exact style off a of good kid Mad City, Art of Peer Pressure, 
on his most recent release and timestamp this so that way everybody that's listening, which at this moment when I'm recording this video, this diss track has 444,000 views, you know at least half of those people went and just did what I just did. Gah. Niggas, you name drop, catch fire in the rain on one brother to shout that you with no raindrops. When I seen you on flex, I gave props. But then we found out you stole Don Q shit in a train stop. You thought. When I seen you on flex, I gave props until I found out that you stole God Don Q shit. Plagiarism again, talking about it. Fly to the plane drop. Ugly motherfucker trying to stunt in the tank top. It's no wonder why they used to feed your ass with a slingshot. You my son, it's the last time I give you a ring pop. Sit down. You my son, it's the last time I give you a ring pop. Sit down. That's what my dad used to tell me. He used to tell me, sit your ass down or I'm gonna beat that ass. He didn't say it like that, but he said it in his eyes. Like, like if I act it up, I'm gonna get that ass beat when we get home. Or, you know, if I'm if I'm acting up too much, take me to the restroom and beat my ass. Yeah, that's where it's at. Don't even think about touching that TV. No more video games, no more phone, no more 3D. No more radio or boombox for your weak ass CD. Matter of fact, he's punishing him, grounding him. No more TV, no more video games, no more boombox for your own weak ass CD. You were disgrace to this family and everything I taught you. I hate to say it, son, but you made me sick. Should've knew you weren't be shit when you came out with a baby dick. It's no wonder why you paid for pussy. Tori, you think you slick. Are you now we're going brutal now. Now we're talking about his he's got a little dick that he has to pay for chicks. And another thing about him being Eminem's prodigy is it sounds like when Eminem talks to Haley on uh 06 Bonnie and Clyde. Like he's using that same tone of voice, like you know how when parents switch up their tone of voice to sound more cute and more playful. How come you can't follow with my steps and be a dancer? Or maybe write a book like me or be somebody's grandpa. Instead you want to be a fucking rapper with some hair plugs. No more rapping. Give me your pen and paper. No. How come you couldn't follow in my steps? Now you're just a rapper with some hair plugs. Again, going back to his baldness. Give me your pen and paper. You don't you don't deserve this anymore. Lying to the people and how you the biggest gangster. Now hurry up and get your juicy out the refrigerator. You going to bed at 8 o'clock and not a minute later. I'm going to get real Joe Jackson in a second. Matter of fact, give me your toys. I'm adding that to the collection. Lying to everybody about how he's gangster. I'm about to go real Joe Jackson on you in a second. Joe Jackson is notorious for treating his children like shit or beating them up or whatever he did to them, abusing them, which is probably the reason why Michael was the way he was, obviously. I think everybody knows that. So it's one thing to say that I'm gonna be sunning you. It's another thing to talk to him like he's your son. I just did a show and gotta let you know, nigga. I'm a freestyle killing your originals, nigga. Couldn't name a bitch, I couldn't get you, little nigga. You a rebound, even Scotty Pippen, no, nigga. You a rebound, even Scotty Pippen. After Lanes just said he was blocking him like Chris Bosh. And he's saying that his freestyles, which is what Tory Lanes' last counterpoint was, that all he can do is freestyle in order to get clout. He's saying his freestyles on his own tracks is doing better than Tory Lanes' original verse on that same track. You ain't from Toronto, put that on the Bible. I put six hollows in your fair gamma. Mm. I'm from New England, me and Brady in the El Dorado. I put six holes in your Ferragamo. You ain't from, you ain't even from Toronto. Now come get on my level, I'm hot as metal. I bomb the ghetto, I brought a shovel. I bury all you little ninja turtles. You don't tell her, you saw the jello. You must be going off that armorado. It's hard to tell her, you saw the pillow. You fucking midget, I call you willow. I thought you were a fucking car window. I step on the- You must be going off that armorado. I'll, I'll bury all you little ninja turtles like Donatello. I'm authentic, your bars are rented. Listen, I'm off this and you fuck this, you duck, nigga, nigga. What? Nigga. Fuck out my face, nigga. The shit is crazy. Jorner went in on his ass. Tory went in on his ass. Jorner went in on his ass before that. This is gonna go back and forth, but Tory's whole demeanor, his whole style, his whole press personality is just not that of Joyner. Joyner's got that, like that swagger. Tory's got that, but Drake is always going to be him in a better form. And I'm sorry to say that because I know Tory potentially did come out with that style first. He's complaining about it. He's always complaining. He's on IG Live doing all this bullshit. Like, just handle your business, son. And that's what Joyner's doing. He's just handling his shit. That was the quickest reply I've ever seen in my life. But damn, did we get a beef of the age? This is going to be the best... Shortest beef of all time. This beef is only gonna last 48 hours and we're gonna get like six songs out of it. Here's the track. 
Here's YouTube. Hit play. Upload that hoe to Twitter. Tweet your shit out. Shit goes viral. He comes back with a response. Another response on top of that. And hip hop is back. Thank y'all guys for watching. That's three videos in like a span of two days. I don't even know if that's too many, but I can't not make the video and fall behind. And I gotta get my opinion out there just as fast as everyone else does. Please subscribe if you're new here. My analytics say that almost 80%, 85% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're here watching, especially if you've made it this far, that means you like the shit. Just go ahead and give me that subscribe, give me that notification bell, and I would appreciate it. I'm trying to help this channel grow. You're in here at the ground level, just like everybody else is here at 2,500, because I feel like I'm doing it different than other people are doing it, but I'm just having fun as we go. You know what I'm saying? But happy Thanksgiving again. Happy Thursday for the non-Turkey Dayers. I'm exhausted. Hopefully there's not another song. They're two and two. Hopefully that ends it. But your boy's tired as shit. Peace.